How's it going there folks? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the Wicked Lasers Spider Arctic 3. Now this is a one watt laser and I'll tell you, it's pretty incredible. This was sent out to me free for review by an affiliate partner of Wicked Lasers, 1WLaser.com, and I ask that if you do decide to purchase this stellar laser, you do so through them, so they get a, a little bit of a little bit of a, a compensation for that. Anyway, this is a very interesting laser that I'm going to love to talk about and show you. Now, let me start off as a precursor by saying I'm no laser fanatic. I like playing with lasers. Um, I know a little bit about them, but I mean lasers. There is such a big fanboy community with lasers, and you know, there's different companies. There's Wicked Lasers and Dragon Lasers, and fanboys will get into flame wars about which one's better. I really don't know. I love playing with lasers. I've had a lot of fun with this, but I'm no laser genius, and I can't tell you spec hardcore this is a better laser. So. This is a pretty incredible laser though, and uh, you know you, you know it's pretty incredible by, by the very lofty price tag of $299 US. Now the Wicked Laser uh, Spider Arctic 3 is only available for purchase in some countries. It is illegal in many, however here in the United States this is uh, legally the most powerful laser you can own. And uh, it's pretty incredible. You do need to be 18 years of age to own one and use one, but uh, I'm going to kind of show you some of the features of this really cool Spider 3. This thing is dangerous. It'll the beam will travel for 95 miles. It'll burn through skin, paper. Uh, it burned paint on my drywall. I mean, it will seriously uh, pop balloons. It'll do anything uh, you put your mind to. So this is pretty incredible. Let me just start with a few of the things you're going to get because there are many. First of all, as you can see, you're going to get this little lens here. Uh, the great thing about the Spider Arctic 3 is you have adjustable caps. Um, a lot of them have different apertures, a lot of them have um, different filters on them so you can project images onto the wall and fun stuff like that. This is the starter lens. This is kind of like the safety lens. You don't really use this. They just use it and say, familiarize yourself with the laser before you go out and do some crazy stuff. And uh, this is kind of the beginner's cap, uh, which once you use the laser, you don't need anymore. But um, all of them are very nice, made out of aluminum, excellent manufacturing, and uh, they're all very, very good. Now you're also going to get an extra laser warning. One already comes on the laser, but it's serialized, and um, I think it is required by law to have this on your laser. So if yours falls off or whatever, there's an extra one. You're going to get a big old caution letter that says, please keep lasers safe and legal. Never point a laser into the sky. I can tell you this is something you'd never want to do. Never point it in the sky. Uh, there's pilots in planes, and uh, it's Definitely not the first time that they've been binded by a laser, and that's even consumer lasers. This one, which is ultra powerful, uh, could be hugely detrimental, and you can go to jail. So be careful. If you do decide to get this laser, don't ever point it in the sky. Uh, and then you're going to get uh, a very nice pamphlet with information on how to use your laser, and uh, you can learn about all the safety features and whatnot. You're also going to get a battery charger because this does come with a rechargeable battery. Uh, this works really great. I mean, there's nothing bad to say about it. You plug it in, you throw your battery in, and you're good to go. Now, they also give you some safety glasses. They recommend that you always wear these during use. Um, I haven't worn these all the way during use because they actually almost eliminate the beam altogether. It's pretty incredible. Uh, but uh, these are really nice glasses if you're doing something dangerous and you need uh, eye protection. So there's that. And of course the laser, which comes in a very nice carrying pouch. That's uh, Velcro and everything of the like. So if you guys remember, uh, there was this adjustable end cap where you can affix uh, different things on here. Let me just show you by spinning this off uh, what you're going to get in here. And again, really, really build quality. Uh, it's excellent construction. There's the aperture itself of the laser, and then you can uh, mix and match these if you so choose. Again, this is the beginning laser, so we're going to take this and screw this back on. But I mean, as you can just see, the threading on that is great. Uh, this really is a high quality laser. It's made all out of aluminum. Uh, really, really phenomenal construction. Um, I mean, you do, it really does feel like a $300 laser. It's got some serious weight to it. And uh, I'm going to show you about some of the safety features that are required um, to get FDA certification, which this laser does in fact have. The first one is this. It's a little key where you can pull this out and the laser will refuse to operate unless this is in. 
we also unspin the back here, we'll see the second feature. Uh, this is uh, another block. It's a, actually a conductor right here, and if that's not in, it's not going to work. So there's two already, and then there's a third one to prevent the laser from being turned on without a key combination. Here's your rechargeable battery. You take this, you throw this into the bay when you're done. Um, I don't. There's not much engravings on this. I don't know the capacity or anything of that sort, but uh, you just slide that in. Take your end cap here, screw it back on. Once you can get the threading on. Struggling a little bit around the camera. There we go. Okay, so let's power the laser on. There's the uh, first power button. And you'll notice that uh, you can't see it come on right here. The lasers are too bright. All right, there we go. It's hard to get these things to turn on. Um, as you can see, there is the power indicator right there. There's also an LED on the other side. Um, it kind of helps you figure out the key combination. You press three times. One, two, three. Then you need to hold it and then hold it again. And this will turn on the laser. Now, my camera really can't capture it like it should be able to. Um, I mean, it just doesn't. I'm going to try and show you exactly how this laser looks in a dark room in a dark environment. But this really is one of those things you have to see in person. This light is already blinding, and this is the low mode. So it starts out in the low flashing mode, the strobe mode. You can move to a solid beam. And then to get to high powered mode, which takes full advantage of the laser's abilities, you need to hold the power button. And as you can see, that got much brighter. Uh, again, once you, you're in high-powered mode, you can press this to get into high-powered strobe mode. But that is, in fact, uh, the four features and four kind of options of this laser. So let's stop talking about it. Let's show you it in action. Unfortunately, again, there's not a whole lot of stuff I can do and capture the real wow on the camera, but I'm going to try as best as I can. So let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of a very dark bathroom. I do have a backlight behind me, and that's why part of the wall is illuminated, so there is a little bit of light in here. I'm gonna take my laser, if it can get it on. Remember the key combination, and if I did the key combination right, let's try one, two, three, one, two. Here we go. All right, so as you can see, this is low-powered strobe mode and low-powered solid mode. Now, that's already like a huge beam, and uh, when I put it to full-powered mode, as you can see, it just totally takes the bathroom's light over. Uh, it's pretty nuts, and uh, if I turn the light off altogether, the camera can't even really capture the power of the laser. Now, actually, in this, in this room, and again, I apologize, you just simply cannot see this in this bathroom without seeing it in person. I'm going to try this, see if that'll work. No, there's just no way I can really do it, but this is a solid beam right now. There is a, absolutely, it looks like a lightsaber. I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see I'm totally blue. Uh, the whole bathroom is illuminated. You can see absolutely everything uh, really well, and it's all thanks to this one little laser. Now, you can also, at night, shine this into the sky, and uh, it is, as you can see now, a little bit better, a full entire beam. It's no laser pointer where the dot appears on the ceiling. This is the real deal. It's a solid beam all the way to the destination. This will travel 95 miles. It will travel in um, you know, a lot of conditions where regular lasers wouldn't, like uh, foggy conditions. Uh, it's pretty freaking incredible, I'll tell you. I've had a lot of fun playing with it. And uh, let's uh, do what some people consider to be the best part of the laser, burn things. Let's go. All right, so we're back on the review table. I've got a piece of notepad paper right here, uh, TSIG branded, um, folded over in half here on the table. And I've got the Spider Arctic 3. So, one, two, three, one, two. That's going to put low power strobe mode on, and let's kick that into high mode. As you can see, it is just shining through. There's the smoke coming out, and it already burned through to the other side. It is fast. Let me show you in another place. Here we go. Ready? Already burned through. Watch the wall. Already burned through. So as you can see, this thing is wild. I mean, it just burns through the 
through things with ease. I mean, it makes a mockery of uh, things that can burn. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You can actually do it from quite a great distance. We were lighting firecrackers on the 4th of July with the Spider Arctic 3 from about 10 feet away. I mean, this thing really is uh, pretty incredible. It's a very decently built laser. Um, you know, again, I can't tell you if it's the end-all be-all. Um, I don't know on the power or the legality of it or whatnot, but I do know that it's a very well-built laser. Uh, for $300, you're certainly looking at a fun toy. Uh, it's not a toy, as states the warning label, but you are looking for a fun little way to light things on fire. I think it's a great toy. I really like it. But again, this is not for everyone. $300 is quite lofty. If you uh, are just a laser enthusiast, there may be cheaper and uh, a little bit more reasonable options out there on the market. This is Quinn. That's Snazzy iPhone Guy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.